one of these prominent citizens of our continent, Jaime Cubare, mayor of Barranquilla. Because it will not be enough, but it at least will keep us or help us pass the night. And that's what we did. Today, three or four years after this, Venezuelans that make up part of our population, 20,000 kids that are in our schools, 17,000 of those receive every day a free meal. All of them free education and free health care. We don't have a lot, but we're sharing. And it was hard to convince people that this was going to happen, to tell them that it was going to be harder to find a place in school for their children, and we were going to have to make them. It was hard telling them that their taxes were going to have to be diluted and make way. But in the end, the honest dialogue with our constituents and our people made way for these new Barranquilleros. Today, they are a vital part of our community. They are getting the jobs that are needed to prop up and increase the size of our economy. They are being distinguished part of our culture, of our heritage, and they are building with us as everybody that came before us built our beautiful city. So I have a message of hope. It can be done. There is a way. And if we work together and speak honestly, sometimes you even get recognition for it when you didn't think it was possible. So I am humbled today to receive this prize because when we started doing this, the last thing I thought I would receive was recognition. We thought we had to do it. We, we thought it was a necessity because these people were there and it was, or there was no humanitarian way to send them back, send them back.